we are know that mostly the waste in Indonesia is will come from the residential and non-residential. But mostly uh, 60% to 70% is come from residential area. And because our population is huge, so it's why then the number of the waste increase time by time. So the source for the uh, food waste usually is come from okay activity at household and also uh, from the non-household, maybe uh, for example, like from restaurant, hotel, market, we also produce a lot of the uh, food waste. And we have some of the composting center, we try to reduce amounts of the uh, food waste or food loss that bring to the uh, landfill. For example, food waste or food loss from the market, okay, and mostly the market in, in Surabaya, especially in the eastern part of Surabaya, they will be bring to the composting center and we uh, reduce amounts of the waste by using the composting and then after that the residue will be closed to the landfill. Uh, some of the food waste, for example, that already separate like in hot from the hotel or the restaurant, some of the people will be informal recycling, okay, for example, the people that have a farm, okay, like a duck or they have some other farm that they do recycling of the food waste and then they collect informally from the sources and then they bring uh, to the farmer and then give as a, a feeding for the animals. So the first participation that can include the uh, community especially try to separate the waste from the sources and directly go to the transport depot is also separate for the transportation is also separate so it will be very easy to manage after they are separate but the second one if the community already have uh, uh, increased their awareness for food waste actually they also can conduct like a composting at their houses because food waste actually is also has a value that we can mix become a compost then the compost also can be used for our daily activity of our home so i think this is the most important thing if the community would like to involve in the uh, food waste because the food waste also has a big value actually for our life so just not only like a waste but they are valuable waste. We as communities, I feel that we take, I, I think we take a big role. Um, I feel that we have the, you know, the, the power to the people to a certain extent. If we, we come together and figure out, like figure a solution to how we can, you know, um, radiate that knowledge of how we can actually minimize food, it's, I, I feel that it's going to be empowering. The solutions, okay, and tips, I guess. I, I, I mentioned this earlier on, like things, are there's like certain, like, like uh, a checklist that you can go by to ensure that, you know, you're not, um, you're not, you're not um, what's that, astray. So there are like certain apps that, for example, I think in Singapore, there's apps like Treat, Treasure and um, that actually gets in like best before like certain dates and all that like I think within a certain a, a certain months or something you can purchase from those places I guess at the end of the day I feel that you have to be conscious yeah but I think I feel I still feel that the most important bit is because uh, the most important bit is to raise the awareness um, I, I can't give you uh, solutions uh, but I can give you tips I mean I actually mentioned um, earlier on it depends on where you are um, yeah, it depends on what the different scenarios that you are at. For example, supermarket, at home, like purchasing purchasing your food items and all that. So yeah, I, I, there are a few tips and, and solutions. But however, I feel that you start small. Like doing two things out of five things that you know can prevent food wastage, for example, I think it's better than doing nothing. So it's, it's really to just, um, yeah, start small.